Check out these upbankers. Thanks to Sideline Swap for sponsoring this video. Well, before we start our week, there's something under the Christmas tree for you. Ooh. Oh, really? Really? Come check it out, buddy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Where did you guys put that in? Did I not notice? Mm, maybe not. Mm. Are you excited? Yeah. I mean, it's huh. an early present. It I is mean, early. The only early We're present I get is Christmas Eve because I always get one present from you guys and it's always a onesie. Or mm. Christmas pajamas. That right? Yeah. All right, let's head in the kitchen. Now, for the record, Mason, mm -hmm. this is not from us. This is not from me. But it's somebody that we've worked with this year and they wanted to give you a Christmas present before Christmas. So Christmas. it's from our friends at Sideline Swap. Shout out to everybody at Sideline Swap for sending this out to Mason. Go ahead, dude. Open it up. Merry Christmas. They said you could have it early. I asked if they wanted us to wait. They said you could have it early. So. Yeah. Let me get you some uh, scissors. Yes, please. Got a zen. Awesome. Just like your old days, huh? Yeah. Super excited? Mm-hmm. Okay, what drop is it? What length is it? Drop five. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. And a 31 inch. Awesome. Thank you, Sideline Swap. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to use this in a tournament. Yep. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I don't even want it to be basketball now. I just want to go to baseball now. <laughs> I, mean, I, I love baseball. he's got a basketball, basketball shirt on. <laughs> but I mean, baseball. <laughs> like Mason said, thank you to Sideline Swap. So cool of them to reach out. Christmas is fast approaching. So this is just a reminder that Sideline Swap is a great place to do your Christmas shopping for your little athlete or your big athlete, whoever they may be. Like I said, brand new bats that just hit in 2019 on the site. Great used gear, up to 70% off gently used sports equipment, not just baseball. It's a great place to buy and sell used sports gear. They offer prepaid shipping labels for sellers, makes it easy once you do get someone to buy your gear to send it off. They also have 100% buyer protection. So if you buy something on the site and it does not arrive as it was described on the site, you get 100% money back guarantee. So it's a secure place so you can feel confident that what you order is going to arrive on your doorstep as you saw it on the website. We've seen it numerous times dealing with them. I'm there on their site at minimum two to three times a week just looking at new and used baseball gear. But like I said, there's every sport you can think of on there. Go through the link down below in our description box. Please click it, check out the site. It's an incredible place to buy gear for Christmas. And on that note, a lot of you are going to get some pretty cool baseball and other sports gear underneath your tree on Christmas waiting for you. So what happens when you get that new gear, Mace? You got to get rid of your old stuff, right? Yep. So you know it's what you a, do with that? Put it right back on Sideline Swap. Put it right back on Sideline Swap. It is a great place. Like I said, it's a good community. There's people that offer trades as well. It's a great place to buy, sell, trade gear. I can't say enough good things about this website. So when you get that new Christmas gear, don't be afraid to put your old bats, old gloves, whatever the case may be. Actually, you better hold that for me. Underneath the tree for you. But like I said, use the link down below, check it out. Thank you, seriously, I can't express enough thank yous to Sideline Swap for sending out a bat that this dude has been eyeballing for quite some time. Yes, <laughs> it's a good bat. So thank you, Sideline Swap. Now, on to our normal week of the Bebos. Roll it. Good morning. It's our Monday, a new week for us. Coming off of a long baseball weekend in Las Vegas. 
Got home late last night, pretty much dumped everything. I need to go through all of this today, start some laundry, but it's back to school. In fact, Mason's upstairs. He is a little grumpy because he missed on Friday. He feels like he's gonna have a lot of work to get caught up on today, so he's not in the best of moods, which I totally understand. I know he definitely missed a math test that he's gonna have to make up, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We are counting down two more weeks till Christmas break. So I told him, get back to school, get caught up, and then we have Christmas break right around the corner. He also has a dentist appointment on Wednesday this week, so I'm gonna have to take him out and he'll probably miss another hour, hour and a half because his molars came in, his 12 year molars, and they wanna put sealants on it. So an easy in and out appointment, but I'm gonna have to take him out from school again and I know he's gonna be mad at me, but it's gotta get done before he gets cavities in those teeth. So hopefully he's getting dressed and he'll be down soon, eat breakfast, and I'll get him off to school. Where are we going? Basketball. Let's do this. Tuesday, Tuesday. How was your Tuesday at school? Good. Are you all caught up from missing school last Friday? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you bite your nails too far? No, I jammed it right Oh, you now. jammed it? I went like this. <laughs> oh, that stinks. He is a nail biter. Everybody leave comments. Gross, don't bite your nails. No, I don't. It's snack time. I bite my nails because I get nervous. Why are you nervous? Sports? Well, not like my sports, but like my team sports. Like I think it's a habit. I think it's just a nervous habit. Papa does it. Aunt Tiffany does it. Runs on mom's side of the family, apparently. He's about to get some homework done. He's having a snack. And then what do you have tonight? Baseball practice. Mm -hmm. All right, get her done. Boys are home from practice. Ooh. Mason, what happened? They got rear-ended on the way to practice. Wasn't a severe crash though. Thankfully, it was Luckily. just minor. Yeah, we were stopped at a light and we just got bumped enough to break our Eagles helmet, trailer hitch, yeah. but hitch covering. Still his first car accident where the cops had to come and all that yeah. and you were late to practice. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a camera on me, so this didn't, is what you get. Didn't vlog it, he didn't bring a camera but, to practice tonight. Yeah. Like, so. We're fine, the truck's fine, the other driver's fine, so. Yeah. This is the only damage. Mason made a joke, said it's falling apart like the Eagles season. So <laughs> that, that is true. It's a so that wild card. card. <laughs> no. <laughs> now does it look crappy if I just put that back on like that? <laughs> yes, we're not gonna put that back on. But we're gonna look at the truck and the light in the morning, right. make sure. Luckily that... I, I'm hoping I'm pretty sure it's fine. That saved us. The hitch. Yeah, they was... got more damage than us. Yeah, I'll take that hitch all, all day long. Phillies one now. Woo -hoo. You want a Phillies one? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Christmas present. Yep. <laughs> we'll get here in time. Yeah. Amazon all right. Prime. All right, so I went to the P.O. box today, and we got a Christmas card from one of you guys. Mason wants to open it. Georgia. Yeah, from Georgia. Georgia. Go with leaving GA. How, what's, what's it's on the most. Wonderful time of the year. <laughs> this is true. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. That's pretty smart, cause you know what? Sometimes we might even get it too late. So yeah. Happy New Year! But <laughs> right. this time we're gonna be for Christmas. So thumbs up for that. From your YouTube family. That's cool. Thank you. The Hart family. Mhm. Mm May the best of the season be yours. Well, thank you for the card. Yep. Very gonna, cool. Gonna add it to our collection we got going on right here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for all the cards, yes. letters. Yes. Appreciate it. Now you need a shower? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go to bed. I don't know. Oh, no. I do know. <laughs> That's what you're gonna do. I do, though. I do want to, though. I don't even know what I'm saying, though. Just I think you need to go to bed, though. though. Thanks for helping, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Dinner is ready. 
one piece of broccoli. Good. I'm hungry. No, you got broccoli underneath. I hid oh. it from you. He does like broccoli. This guy? Not so much. Not so much. It's <laughs> chopping broccoli. <laughs> I just scared the poop out of you. Yeah, I wish I was vlogging it. Course. He was putting the trashes away. Just got this kid from school. How was school? Let me scare you, huh? How was school? Good. Good. How was testing? Fine. Fine. Yeah. So Mason has his testing. benchmarks today. Basically to see, make sure he's on track for the middle of the school year. Can you believe it? School is almost halfway over. Um, grades are about ready to post right before Christmas break. So that's why he's had lots of homework. But the plus side with benchmarks is no homework tonight, right dude? No homework? Yep. He does have hitting eventually tonight. I'm assuming he's going to bring his new bat. Yeah. Yeah, test it out. Sounds fun. Just me and you. Dad's at, he has a work meeting. So I don't know what we're going to do for dinner tonight because I don't really have anything to make. And it's just the two of us. So maybe we'll go out to eat. I don't know. Before hitting? We'll see. Stay tuned for all of that. Deuces. But you get some free time, I guess. No homework. You got your chores done yesterday. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I don't know. That's me and my papa's gift, not yours. I, so. it so I wrapped some presents today, trying to get a head start on it. I thought it was me, mom, papa's because it has the RVs on it. I know, it's so cute. Or even the compasses. So cute for me, mom, papa. We are about ready to head out to Hitting and look who's home. That guy made it home and we're gonna get some dinner. Like I said earlier, didn't have really any dinner plans because I thought he'd be in a meeting really late. But I also said earlier that I was um, wrapping some presents. So true story. I was Black Friday shopping and came across this and was upstairs and in the bag was the candy bar that I got on Black Friday. Whoopsie. Whoops. Sure, it's still but I saw it, I thought Mason would love it. Has anybody had this? Birthday cake, three musketeers. So of course he wanted to eat it, but we're headed out to dinner so he can have it for dessert. You guys ready? Yes. Look, look what Jack's got. Yes. Ooh, you ready to take it for a spin? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Yeah? Wrapper's off. It's officially yours. Yes. Yes. All right, let's head out, boys. Get some dinner. So if you're going to have that for dessert, does that mean mom gets the candy bar? No, it's not dessert. <laughs> This is a pregame. That's pregame. Right. Pregame pre uh, pre ice cream. Pre-hitting ice cream. Mason and I just shopped till we dropped. Ugh, are you tired? Is that fun? He hates mm -hmm. shopping. As soon as I picked him up from school today, we went out getting stuff for Jack for Christmas. I think we did pretty good. A couple of things I know he wanted to find, but we just couldn't find. But we still have about a week till Christmas, so hopefully maybe it'll show up. We can find the stuff that you really wanted to get him. But it feels good to get that done, right? No. I think that next That's week's gonna be bad. crazy. But I'm about ready to make some dinner. Are you hungry? Uh, yeah. He's so tired. Shopping, it is crazy out there. I agree. 
But Jack had his company work Christmas party, so it was perfect opportunity for Mason and I to go out and get Jack's Christmas present. So we got that done. And Jack already ate, so it's just Mason and I. I think we're gonna just make some pizzas. We got we got um, pineapple and Canadian bacon. We got some pepperoni, olives. Figure that all out for dinner. Fresh out of the oven. Looking pretty good. That one I made just in case this guy gets hungry. Cook that fast. Welcome home. Hi. <laughs> How was your meeting? Wonderful. Or Christmas party, I guess. It wasn't yeah. a meeting, Christmas party. Glad you had fun, glad you're home. But now he's got more work to do. Yes. Starting to edit. Back. All right, I think we're about ready to dig into this. That's, the, that's Mason's, that's Jack's. This is mine. You guys, I haven't had cheese in forever and I put a little bit of cheese on this. But this is gluten free. So hopefully my stomach can handle it. Well guys, it is that time, Friday night. I got my Christmas pajamas on. I'm ready for bed. Best pajama top ever. The boys got this for me for Christmas, what, two, three years ago? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. But, did you guys wanna know a little secret? <laughs> this is vlogging for you. We forgot to get check out the adventures when we did the bat opening, so I had to rewrap the bat box so we could get that just being honest that's just how it works sometimes but we are snuggled up on the couch jack's finishing up the vlog this guy's watching some basketball being goofy i think that's gonna be it who's getting excited for christmas leave a comment down below are you guys ready for Christmas? Do you have all of your shopping done for Christmas? I do not. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit crazy. We have to get some Christmas shopping done. And you guys, are you ready? It's been a hot minute. This guy has a basketball tournament this weekend. So stay tuned for that. A lot of you have been asking, when's basketball coming back? When's basketball coming back? Well, there you go. We got a tournament this weekend. No baseball, so he's going to make it. So that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment in the comment section. And don't check the eye in the sky for awesome people adventures and less before you go adventures. And don't press the bell down below so you get notified when we post our next video. And don't check out next time's adventures. And why am I talking so fast? No one knows. All I know is Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.